But here's the bag. Okay, that's harmless. And then you just peel this off. And then you have like this melon looking center. Bones. You like them soup bones? Hey. Oh, these are smaller than what I normally get. Oh, they say minis. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Nonetheless, you still like them. Um, it's Friday evening. I was gonna wait till tomorrow to start recording just because it's kind of boy. You just gotta sniff it out. You you know what that is. Um, I was going to record tomorrow. So I could have better lighting, but um, I wanted to talk to you. What you doing? <laughs> I've been having this bunnet on all day. Listen, I got my hair locked. It don't look like nothing though. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Now, mm -hmm. when I first, hello? <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> I swear to God, is my phone on? I gotta stay off that shit. <laughs> okay, um, when I first got it done, it was really cute in the back. The front, not so much because, you know, I got shorter pieces. I don't know if you knew that, but yeah, I got shorter pieces. So it kind of hung like um, I was a dude off a of D block, you know, like I was in prison. Um, but I'll show you a picture of it. It was very, I got the coil method. You want to see it now? It don't look like nothing now. Okay. You see what I'm saying? It's just, it's kind of matted to my head. And then I, these was hanging down like this right here but i kind of like pushed them back out of my face because it was looking like i had an antenna on both sides and i didn't like that but here's the back cute little oh my goodness my battery about to die i knew i should have started this tomorrow oh well we just we gonna keep on going with the going until we die so i just got me some groceries Nothing special. Nothing that I, I want to show you. Why I'm I'm all the way crooked. Lord. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. I didn't mean that in a rude way. I'm just saying like it ain't nothing special that like I can talk about. Like I got some dog food, some noodles for the family, and then I did get these roses. I did want to show you these. I don't know if you've seen my blooming pumpkin that I made. I've done it two times. Uh, two years in a row. So the first year I used a real pumpkin, carved it out, put a jar in the middle, stuck a bouquet of flowers in it. It was so freaking pretty. But the pumpkin didn't last that long because here in Arizona it's still hot. Baby, I, oh, sorry, Osh. I still got shorts on. Um, I gotta put this back on. <laughs> Cause, uh, uh, uh. No, ma'am. So this year I got one of those foam pumpkins. Let me just show you real quick. Hold on, I gotta tuck in my B2Bs. So I got a foam pumpkin from Walmart and you know, you can get any color you want. I just went with like a beige white because it matches the aesthetics of my home. Carved out the middle and then I'm not gonna pull this out, but I put a a glass jar inside like that and then fill it with water and ice and that's just to preserve you know your flowers keep them longer I think I'm not sure but I put ice in mine um, and then your plant food your flower food and then arrange your uh, bouquet the way you want to but you know you will have to cut them down a lot so it can fit in here and it's so freaking cute so i wanted to do that again because we're not quite out of pumpkin season like we still got thanksgiving so i still can use this and i did a whole demo on this on tiktok and instagram so if you have not seen that go over there and look at it and make sure you follow me because what is you even doing okay anyways so remember last week I did the Raw Volutions 
food subscription, right? And if you didn't see last week's video, go check it out. But I did a raw vegan food subscription from a company called Raw Revolution. Now they had a really good recipe. It was um, pasta Alfredo. The pasta was zoodles. And then they had an Alfredo sauce with like these supposed to be like meatballs, but it was made out of like nuts and seeds. And so I like that so much, I wanted to recreate it. Now I've done a Alfredo zucchini recipe already on this page, this page, on uh, this channel, but I wanna try there. So I couldn't find his recipe, but they do, he does list like all his ingredients. So what I did, I'm about to get on your nerves because I'm always on ChatGPT. I got on ChatGPT and took his ingredients and just was like, hey, can you make me a recipe out of these ingredients? I said, I need an Alfredo sauce and I need um, a meat. And I put the little meat, the quotes, quotations. Is it quotations? I put those, right? And it came out with a recipe. Let's just pray that it's right. Revolutions uh, pasta alfredo with their little seed nut balls. So I'm about to try to recreate that. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm praying this is not a fail and it tastes good. Um, so to create the seed balls or meat balls, his ingredients were walnuts, sunflower seeds, flax seed. Um, celery, parsley, garlic, onion, but I'm not a big fan of onion, so I'm using garlic powder, um, soy free tamari, or I'm gonna use just soy sauce, uh, and mushrooms. Did I forget anything? I think that's it. And I don't know if this is all that went into the meatballs, but like I said, on his ingredients page, he just gives you a list of ingredients. He doesn't say what goes into what. So I put all the ingredients into ChatGBT. It was like, can you create seed balls with Alfredo sauce and zucchini pasta? And it gave me measurements and it has not steered me wrong yet. So let's just pray that this is right. So what we gonna do is get us a food processor. Um, I'm using my little old school ninja. This thing is so old, look how it look. What did I put in here that made this look like this? Oh, I was trying to grind up some cumin seeds in. Anyways, okay, so first we gonna put in our mushrooms and I just chopped these up really, really small. These are Baby Bella. And in the, um, Oh, you can't see it. In his ingredients, he didn't say specifically what mushrooms he used. It just says mushrooms. So we just gonna do what we do, right? And this is a cup, I believe. Hold on, let me double check. I don't want to tell you wrong. Mm-hmm. 
mm, 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 mm. yes one cup finely chopped then next we're gonna do a half cup of sunflower seeds hopefully my little food processor can fit all these ingredients in hold on we need this down here get this put that in there all right the next we're gonna do a cup of walnuts right 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 yes ma'am and then we need two tablespoons of flax seeds and then it says a whole onion but i'm just gonna do about um a teaspoon of onion powder and then I will adjust if I need more. Um, then our celery, garlic, and parsley. I'm gonna just dump that in there like so. I'm so nervous. Please don't let this be nasty. Cause I'm gonna be mad I didn't wasted all my ingredients on this. But you know, I like trying stuff and being creative, so. Then from there, we need our olive oil. And we need two tablespoons of that. And then a tablespoon of soy-free tamari, or you can do soy sauce. Okay. Now let's blend it up, I'm scared. Okay, let's try to put this all together. Yo, I think Chad GBT just did his thing. I'm adding a little bit more of the soy sauce just for a little bit more flavor. And then I'm gonna add some more onion powder, but it's tasting like it. So I'm gonna say about another teaspoon. Maybe, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Now we're going to try to roll these into balls. And then I'm gonna let them sit in the fridge to, you know, get some form. Put these on my hands, these gloves. Oh, baby, I can't put a glove on, right? So, you know, my hands don't get all messy. All right, you ready? Take this blade out, shall we? Where are we gonna put them? Okay, I'm gonna just put it in the sink right here. Ciao. I might have made these too goopy because his had more structure. More pieces. Structure. Yeah. I need a little, what do they have? A little scoopers where you just scoop it out. What are you talking about over there, Ari? Goodbye. I think it'll still be okay once I put them in the fridge and let them chill. But the flavor is really good. This is giving, what's that stuff? Pate or something? It's giving dog. Pate. Is that what that is? I, no, pate. Like the stuff that you like spread on a cracker. It look like, not spam, potted meat is what this looks like. It's giving dog food. Yeah, maybe don't blend it as much as I did. Don't do that. But it's still forming nonetheless. Now down here, further down in the... Little bit off of her. She thick. Okay. While I was waiting on them nut balls, it sounds so terrible when I say nut balls. While I was waiting on, why is it saying my battery is going dead? I just changed it. Okay, battery has changed. Um, while I was waiting on 
the nut balls, the seed balls, the meat balls. What can I call them? Because I don't want to call them none of that because it's not me. Anyways, I went to the Asian grocery store. I got a yellow watermelon right there. Um, I got so much stuff in this fridge. Don't look at it. Okay, stop. Close your eyes. Um, I got me some turmeric, fresh turmeric. I got some oyster mushrooms. I love oyster mushrooms and lion's mane mushrooms. Chopping up. Got some okra because I want to make a okra salad. I'm going to make it with you probably tomorrow. I kind of want to make it tonight so I can have it for tomorrow. Got a bell pepper that's going with the okra salad. And then I got some, what's these things called? Rambutans? I think that's what these are called. I'm about to dig into these right now. And that's all I got. I just ran to get those because I wanted to make um, my okra salad. This is going to go with a juice that I'm going to make. I don't know if I'm going to record that. I might, but it's apple, ginger, and turmeric. And um, I might put a little bit of pepper in there so, you know, the turmeric does what it needs to do in the body. And the mushrooms was just like a one-off thing. I seen them and I was like, oh, I want those. I have no idea what I'm going to make with them. Why do I have, oh, that's why I got it open. Let me put this up. These out, okay, so. I'm about to make my sauces for the zucchini. Look how small the zucchini is. I did one of those um, Instacart things where they deliver your groceries and I got these little things like they're went none bigger than that. Anyways, um, I was about to tell you something. What was I going to tell you? Oh, let's see if the no balls is ready. I'm going to let them stay a little bit longer. Okay, let's try. These things look really scary, but it's harmless. Look, if you never tried these before, I know they look scary, but they taste so good. See, that's harmless. And then you just peel this off. And then you have like this melon looking center, little opaque white. And then it also has a seed inside. So don't go just biting and chewing it up because there is a hard seed inside, but trying to think what it tastes like like a cherry and a grape maybe i don't know it has a unique taste you just have to experience it they're really good okay shall we make our sauce so first we're gonna start with alfredo sauce it's gonna look different um revolutions recipe our ingredients because I don't have the recipe. I'm just making it up. That one is feel like I ain't gonna be able to open that one. Calls for pine nuts. I typically make my Alfredo, my raw vegan Alfredo with cashews. So I did pine nuts. You need a half a cup of pine nuts, but I had probably like it wasn't close to a half. It was almost there, but I needed a little bit extra, so I just threw some cashews with it and I put it in some warm water. So if you're going to make any kind of like sauce with nuts, you don't have to. So you soak these overnight or if you forget to soak them overnight, you can soak them for like 30 minutes um, with some warm water. But if you're going to soak them overnight, you just do room temperature water like out of the faucet. But don't use out of the faucet. Use some bottled water, okay? So i am going to drain this and then blend it up with the other ingredients that makes like a uh, alfredo flavor zoodalize my zucchini then we'll throw the meatballs on top and we'll try oh no we gotta make our marinara sauce too because he also has one that he does pasta marinara and it's the same concept with the zoodles 
and the nut balls, but a tomato-based sauce marinara, right? But raw, so we'll make that too. And we'll try both of them and we'll see. I'll see which one I like better. I'm fine, so good. to stay okay so this is how it turned out this is the alfredo one mm -hmm. and then i did a little bit of the marinara one um i was like should i put alfredo on one side and marinara on the other side but i'm like i don't even want to mess up my palette like that so um i went with alfredo because it tastes the best to me out of the two this still tastes good but this was my favorite his alfredo recipe fire like mine is a good contender but his way better and one thing i would say about my like nutsy meatballs um i think i would keep these refrigerated overnight but we still gonna try them so here we go yeah these definitely need to be refrigerated overnight <laughs> oh my god perfection what what are y'all doing now get in here um uh, okay let's try this let me get a little bit of the nut seed meatball okay Mm. Mm hmm That's good too. Mm -hmm. I think with this, a little less lemon juice. The lemon juice is very powerful. I did a, a whole lemon. Chopping my head off. I did a whole, I did a whole lemon. It's not necessary. Maybe a half of a lemon. And then I forgot to tell you, I added more cashews in this when I was blending it because it was a little watery. So I added about another half cup of cashews. Um, did I add anything else? No, that's it. So, this is so freaking good. Hey, so I was about to have me some watermelon for my evening snack. And remember I told you I got the yellow watermelon from the Asian grocery store? 
I cut it in half, it start fizzing. And it's still like doing like this bubblation thing. So I Googled it and it was like, yeah, if it's fizzing um, or foamy or whatever, throw it out. It means that it's too mature and it's going bad. I'm so mad. Look at this. Can you see it fizzing? I know you see that. It's really this side. Baby, ain't no way. Mm -mm. Oh, why are you still so waxy? I guess they still put wax on organic stuff, huh? Ugh. Good morning, honeybee. Uh, I woke up with a little... Because usually if I don't take anything or if I take over-the-counter medication, I go to sleep, my throat is like closed off. And I woke up this morning with still like an itchy scratchiness, but I don't have a sore throat, if that makes sense. So I'm about to take a little bit more of that. And then I'm about to juice. I'm doing um, an apple, ginger, and turmeric juice. I feel like I'm missing something else. Am I supposed to put lemons with it? So this is called the ALTC juice. Where my turmeric? It can't be a tea until we get the turmeric. And this was the reason I got the turmeric yesterday from the Asian grocery store. So I'm on a clean my produce, um, cut it up and juice. I'm not gonna show you that because I show you that all the time. Or do you wanna see that? Do you even care? I'm not gonna show you. Got my little shot glass. And I like to take mine with a little bit of water because you know, just drinking apple cider vinegar, it burns. We want one shot. Let's do two shots because, baby, I need this to be nipped in the bud. I actually made a salad dressing with this fire cider. Did I show that? I don't think I showed you that. It was so good. I added um, olive oil, ground mustard, or is it stone ground? What is it called? I don't, I don't have more. I don't have any more left. Is it stone ground? It's somebody. Uh, mustard. What else did I add? Maybe a little bit of honey. It was so good, and I put it on my salad. Mm, mm, mm. A lot of people don't like the flavor of like fire cider or apple cider vinegar. I do. I guess I'm just weird like that. But I definitely have to dilute that fire so I can taste. I beat on burnt my esophagus bone. Okay. I'm gonna get this together and we'll be back.
hope these aren't wet. Cause it's been raining out here. <sighs> um, I think this little itchy throat. Ooh, make sure I ain't showing nothing cause I'm naked under here. <laughs> So I'm thinking this little itchy throat is coming from these herbs that I've been taking. And now the birds gonna start acting up. Okay. But yeah, from, you know, the herbs that I've been taking because you can experience the healing crisis and basically have things like cold and flu symptoms and all type of other things excessive mucus body odor um, trying to think of other detox symptoms there's a plethora it just depends on how congested your body is and so I'm thinking that's where I got like this little itchy throat and um, a little bit of congestion too but anyways i feel good minus that and this juice came out really well let's talk about andre 3000's album oh he getting a lot of a lot of criticism there are a lot of people that like it and a lot of people that don't um his i guess original fans are people that you know loved him for outcasts and his wordplay are like you know we wish we had the old Andre back but it's like as you get older you evolve into you know different things and I feel like this album is definitely for the woke people um, people that are on their spiritual journey and I had read somewhere that he had all his instruments and even like the background music tuned to 432 hertz is that right or is it let me see I don't want to tell you the wrong thing yeah 432 hertz which is if you don't know like the healing vibration like people meditate to and it also is earth's vibration I just think he's more on he seemed like he was always like spiritual especially dating Erica Badu she's very spiritual you know what I mean and I just feel like it's more of a conscious album and I can definitely see myself like turning it on put my headphones on and meditate to it I'm not mad at it I think he's a genius and I don't think that this album takes anything from him I think that he's allowed to be creative and more of us should live in that type of truth and not be afraid of it so i'm here for it let me know what you think in the comments and on the lines of meditation um i get some people i don't know on youtube but i think on tiktok people ask me like or what do i meditate to and i like this channel let me see if i can find her real quick usually like on my for you page for youtube she always pops up her name is chantress seba um let me see if i can get you a peaky lou can you see that i love her sound let me see if i can play a little bit for you I know I'm weird, but I really love to listen to that to meditate. And then I don't know if you know about 8D audio. My daughter has showed it to me. It's probably been a year or two ago. And I was like, oh, that's cool. But I recently stumbled across it again. These airplanes. I'm telling you, anywhere you live in Phoenix, you gonna hear the airplanes like they be taking off and coming taking off and coming um 8d audio you gotta listen to it with headphones but it i guess you feel like one with the music i can't even explain it but it like <laughs> it transcends you somewhere i don't know you definitely gotta look into it i like to listen do you remember that group enigma 
I like to listen to the song called Sadness. Um, the meaning behind the song, mm, but I just like the way it makes me feel. Like it really helps me to get into a flow state um, and just the sounds and the chanting or whatever. Like I remember it was sometime, not last week or the week before, I was listening to it while I was out here meditating on my little uh, cushion and I was feeling like I was spinning. Okay. All right, you got your package? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me let you hear it. This is an AD, but you're not gonna hear the AD because you gotta have headphones. But it feels like you have surround sound like inside of your ears, even though it's the headphones. I, I can't explain, you just gotta experience it. Do you remember this song? that sound right there i don't know if that's a flute or what that is but it gets me where i need to be okay <laughs> so try 8d music all you got to do is go to youtube and just put 8d meditation music 8d binaural beats um 8d healing music they also got 16d but i feel like it sound the same but if you have not listened to it, definitely check it out. Anyways, I'm about to um, journal a little bit because it's so nice out. So why not, right? Okay, so we back home and I am about to change my bed, comforter, and sheet set. Um, I seen this in Ikea. We originally went to Ikea to get shelves for our closet that Paul has um, basically built. It's like an Ikea closet system, if you know what I mean. I'll show it to you in a minute though. But I thought this was so cute. This is what it looks like. But I just love the black and white design. If you know, a lot of stuff in my house is neutral. Um, and so the comforter that we have is like peeling, like, you know, the little peels all over the material. It was a cheap like bed in a bag set anyway. So I was like, we need to change that because it's not comfortable at night. And then I stopped. Um, so that's just a duvet cover. So it has the duvet and two pillowcases. And then I got also from Ikea a duvet. So to insert inside the duvet cover. Um, and then I stopped at Dee's discount and I just stopped and got this black sheet set. Um, yeah. And then I seen this, this ain't got nothing to do with my color scheme, but look at this green. <laughs> I just thought this would be so cozy and then it gives you like fall winter vibes you know what i mean like the comfort that i had was really light and i feel like this would bring a little vroom vroom to the room you know oh can you back off my blanket <laughs> and so this comes with a quilt and two pillowcases so this was 27.99 from dd's the she sex sheet set was $11.99 the duvet insert is $19.99 and the duvet 
cover with the two pillowcases was like 40 bucks. I think it was like $39.99. I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah, I have stripped the bed. And so let's get to making it and see what this turns out to look like. Either it's going to be a hit or a miss. I'm praying it's really cute. We will see. exposing me to everybody this top was made for women with big boobs and I ain't got but a peach of a titty so if you see something I mean I got like this little bralette on but just in case it gapes open just know my apologies in advance okay so I ain't never had a, a duvet now I had a duvet cover once upon a time and I put my blanket inside of it. Is that the same thing? I think it is. Is it to your liking? Oh, sir. Bye. Okay. So I think with duvet covers, you're supposed to roll them up. There's like a little hack that you do with these things. Oh my God, my phone is dead and I'm not gonna be able to look it up. I'm just about to wing it, oh Lord. We're just gonna wing it, okay? So, oh, I would really wish you would move. So you're supposed to roll it. Right? This, they had like, I think three or four different type of duvets and this is the lightest one. So they have heavier ones that I believe had like the goose down feathers in them. Um, but I don't need nothing super like heavy because even in the winter, like Arizona gets cold, but not enough to have like no goose down. Um, what I'm trying to say, duvet. Girl, you will burn up here. I mean, it gets cold, don't don't get me wrong, but not enough for like no big old quilt. So I thought this would be perfect. And plus, and plus Paul gets hot too, very quickly. So I was like, let's just do this light one. But yeah, they go from like um, 20 bucks to about like a hundred bucks at Ikea. Now you know if you want one of them hotel grade ones, you better do your research because I don't have to tell you. I don't live that kind of lifestyle. <laughs> okay. I live, I live that balling on a budget lifestyle. Can you move? Ah! You want to smell this now? Is that, is that good? 
we can use this one. You think? Do you know? You're gonna step on it anyways. Go. Don't come back over here. Stay. Lord, do this come? I can't on come with no damn instructions. <sighs> These is buttons. I thought I was gonna get a zipper, baby. I might have to turn the camera off because I feel like um I don't need you making fun of me. <laughs> and let me flip it this way so I can have the this piece where I can grab on to. I think that's how you do it. I swear I really don't know. I'm really making this up as I go, but I feel like that that's the logic, right? So we're gonna put this in here. Do they got like some little ties that I can like hold it, like tie it? What's this? Oh, I think they got none. Nah, I ain't got none. They ain't got none of that, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna put that corner in this corner, like this. Cause I know you is cracking up like a sherry. This is not how it go. Well, you know what? I don't have no phone. You is not here. So I just have to do what I have to do, okay? Then I'm gonna take the corner of this one and put it in here. I feel like I'm doing this right. And then put the rest in here. You know what I mean, Ash? Does it feel right to you? Uh-oh, fall back. Okay. Oh. And then I think like that. Like that. Like that, that, that. I really wish there was like some ties, like, you know, that would hold it where it won't roll it. Just see if we can get it to roll before I get the snap and stuff. Can you hold this? These two pieces. Don't let them go. Make it to the bottom. Oh, it made it to the bottom. I think. Yeah, it did. Okay. The only thing that sucks is it's like, I thought usually there's like a tie inside that you could tie the duvet to the <coughs> cover so it don't, you know, like slip and fall, but mm -hmm. whatever. Well, I got it in. That's hmm? He was about to say, that's what's up. No. <laughs> what was you gonna say? That's what she said. Bye. You nasty. You don't I was trying that. to keep it to myself. Mm. bigger tray but I'm gonna start keeping this in here and just updating the flowers um, I love the red with the green it's giving very much like romantic slash jungle slash oh you didn't grow up 
ignore the rest of my room because I look a mess. Look at this. Look at all this stuff over here. Just pay attention over here. Keep your eyes on the prize, okay? I have this rug in our closet and I just move this over here. Come on, focus. It's just one of them little um, faux fur rugs. And then what I love is I can alternate this out. So say that I want the green to be right here. I can put the blanket, push it up, you know, make the bed with the blanket and then take the green and fold it down here. You know what I mean? Like I, I got combinations, okay? I almost feel like I need something right. Nope, I don't need nothing else. So I'm gonna have to fix my little chair and find something that matches this black, white, green. Um, I don't want to put too much red in here because I like no color, <laughs> but just a little pop right here that was cute to me. Um, let me know what you think. I, I need to change my decor on my walls because I'm very much like between baby luxury in here and boho. Like that does not go. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to change that. But you know, I'm a work in progress, baby, okay? So, I think it's cute. I really like it. It's getting cozy. Cozy wozy. It's getting cozy. Cozy wozy. And these are the flowers that we did the other day, remember? Yeah. Maybe like a big old gold tray right there. And girl, I just had this somewhere dangling on the floor. And so I was like, let me throw that up there. That's not gonna stay there, but I just wanted to give you, you know, a little, a little visual. ginger about a tablespoon oh wait is this the right one okay lower probably a tablespoon of agave Ooh, I'm excited for this to add a little extra oomph I'm gonna do a tablespoon of sesame seeds and you could also, if you like heat, you could put some chili flakes in this. Ooh, that would be good, but. Okay, so then after you get it all mixed up, ready to go, you wanna sit it in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I would say an hour or more, you know, to really let the flavors infuse. But we are gonna try it now just to see. Does it need to add anything? chili flakes
because it has all the flavors, the sweet, the tart, but I feel like it needs a little bit of heat. Not too much, just a little bit. I'd say I just put in a half of a teaspoon. I don't even know. Not that much though. And especially when you put this in the fridge and let this marinate. Ciao! If you don't like okra, let me know in the comments what veggie would you substitute for the okra? Baby, it's over here making noise. Like it's coming to life. Mm hmm Okay, I gotta put this away. But just know, I can't wait till lunchtime. Okay. We're gonna fill this up, put this in the fridge. But that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.